In the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 122, Allah commands us to trust Him. He says, And in Allah should the faithful ever put their trust. Often we hear the word tawakkul or tawakkul ala Allah, to have trust in Allah. But have you ever wondered why we should trust Him? Number one, God has full power over all his affairs. When the Quran talks about placing your trust in Allah, it means to believe that someone is capable of carrying out whatever they want or whatever they say. In Surah Yusuf, chapter 12, verse 21, Allah says, And Allah has full power and control over his affairs. Hence, one of the names of Allah is Al-Qawi, the possessor of all strength. This means that everything is under his command, subordinate to him and dependent on him. Even the most trustworthy of people can never say that they will definitely do something for us. They may not have the sufficient means available to them. Other people may prevent them from doing whatever they want to do, or they may even die before completing their task. It is only Allah who can achieve whatever He wants and is always there. That's why Imam Ali in his Munajat says, O oh my Lord, you are the living and I am the dead. And who else can be merciful to the dead except the living? Number two, God has knowledge of everything. Not only does Allah describe Himself as all hearing in the Quran, but he reminds us that he's also all-knowing several times. He's aware of all our needs and he also knows the best way for our needs to be met. Number three, God is all-merciful. Even though God does not expect or need anything from us, he's the one who wants our perfection and our happiness. He's simply there to give and support. In fact, he's so kind that in Surah Al-Anfal, verse number 40, he himself has offered to be our master, helper and trustee. In other words, he's the one who is responsible for looking after our affairs. Finally, let me remind you of an incident in the Holy Quran. The children of Israel, who were from the progeny of Prophet Yaqub had been tried and tested. Some of them failed, but those who were loyal and obedient to Allah said, And why should we not put our trust in Allah, seeing that He has guided us in our ways? Allah has always been caring, helping and supporting us. And He does not change, nor does He lose His power, knowledge or mercy. So to summarize, when we know that Allah is the sole Lord of the universe, meaning he has absolute authority, sovereignty and control over everything. Secondly, Allah knows the best way to do things and the easiest solutions to problems which we must overcome. And finally, Allah is all merciful. Then we should place our trust in Him and only trust Allah.